In this video, I will demonstrate how to install Lineage OS 21 or Android 14 on the NX V2. Let's get started. To follow this guide, you need to have a modded NX console, either a V1, V2, Lite, or OLED. However, not all chip consoles are compatible with Android. If you are unable to boot to the Android environment, your mod chip may need an update or replacement. Make sure you have booted to Hecate. Now we need to check the SD card partition. Open the tools page and click Partition SD card. When you see a red bar, it means you have set up an MUMMC as an SD partition. If you care about your current MUMMC setup, it is essential to back it up. However, backing up this type of MUMMC can be a bit challenging as you cannot simply copy-paste everything. If you only see a green bar, dealing with it is quite simple. You only need to copy-paste everything to back up the entire content of the SD card. If you see green, red, and orange bars, it could indicate that you have set up Android or Linux and MUMMC on their respective partitions. Unfortunately, you cannot back up the Android and Linux, so you will have to let them go. Assuming you have set up the MUMMC SSD partition, the next step is to back it up. If you are starting from scratch and haven't set up the MUMMC previously, you can skip this section. Get into the tools page, then click Backup EMMC. Since we are going to backup the MUMMC which is located inside our raw partition, we now need to select SD MUMMC raw partition button. Then select SD MUMMC boot 0 and boot 1. Next, select SD MUMMC raw GPP. The time required to complete this step may vary based on the SD card speed and the MUMMC partition size. You may need to take a note of this value. I've set the MUMMC size to 12GB previously, so the total backup size matches. If you have a V1, V2, and the light, and set the MUMMC to full capacity, then you will see 29GB here, and for the OLED, it would be 58GB. Now close the page, and we will backup the SD card content. Click USB Tools. Connect your console to a computer using a USB Type-C cable. And then click SD Card. Find the mounted SD Card drive, then create a new folder and name it SD Card Backup. Select all the files and folders inside the mounted SD Card drive and drag it into the SD Card Backup folder. and then safely eject the mounted SD card drive. Please close the page as we will repartitioning the SD card in the next section. Close the page, then select Partition SD card. Now you need to set the new partition to match the current one. If you are unsure, refer to minute 228 or you can find the value here. Mine is 0180F800 sectors in size, which translates to 12GB. To convert sectors from hexadecimals to gigabytes, refer to the solution generated by the chat GPT. Now press OK and slide the red bar to set your MUMMC size. I set mine to 12GB. Select the Android partition to your desired value. I set mine to 64GB. If you wish to install Linux, remember to set the partition to your preferred size as well. Now click next step, then choose dynamic. And press start. Press the power button to continue. Next, we need to restore the SD card content, so click SD UMS.
there are two ways to obtain the Android installation files. The first one is to download the prepackaged zip file, which is not always the latest version. And the second one is to compile it on your own, which is always the most up-to-date option. To download the prepackaged zip file, simply click on the link provided in the description below. But if you wish to compile the files on your own, you'll need to download these files. Download the files on the left side for the Android TV version and refer to the files on the right side for the tablet version. And then download these files. And download the latest Mind the GApps ARM64 version if you wish to add the Google Play Store. I've created a straightforward script to streamline the compilation process. Just download the setup archive. Put all the required files inside a folder. Then extract the setup archive content into the same folder. And then double click the setup batch file. Make sure you already have all the files in place. Then press any key to proceed. This script creates some folders and automatically places the files inside those folders. And later, you need to place these files and folders to your console's micro SD card. Hecate wipes all the content inside the micro SD card when you repartition it, so it's important to back up the content before doing so. As you see on the screen, Hecate left only these files and folders after you repartition the card. Now it's time to restore the content into it. Open the SD card backup folder and drag its content into the micro SD card. In this section, I'm using a prepackaged Android zip file. However, if you have compiled it yourself, please transfer the contents into the micro SD card. Now we need to move the MUMMC backup into the restore folder. Open the backup folder and enter the alphanumeric folder. Drag the MUMMC folder into the restore folder. Safely eject the mounted SD card drive from your computer. Now it's time to restore the MUMMC. You can skip this step if you didn't set up the MUMMC as an SD partition previously. Press OK and close the page. Select Restore EMMC and then click the SD MUMMC Raw Partition button. Now click the SD MUMMC Boot 0 and Boot 1. Press the power button to proceed. Now close the page. Then select SD MUMMC Raw GPP. Again, press the power button to continue. Now close the page, get back to the home screen, then select NYX Settings. Click Dump Joy-Con BT. Close the page and get back to the Partition SD Card page. Press OK, then select Flash Android. Press Continue. And then press Continue. On this page, select Factory Reset. Select Format Data or Factory Reset. Select Format Data. Now select Format System Partition, then choose Yes. Get back to the main menu by pressing the back arrow button. Now select Apply Update. Select Choose from Switch SD. Select the Lineage zip file.
If you wish to install the Google Apps, reselect the Apply Update button. Select Choose from Switch SD, then choose the Mind the G Apps zip file. On this screen, select Yes. Now select Reboot System Now. To launch Android, select More Configs, then choose Lineage OS. Continue setting up your Android to suit your preferences. Congratulations! You have completed the guide to install the Lineage OS 21 or Android 14 to your modded NX console. Thank you for watching the video and see you next time!